What is up, everyone? This is part five of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver with the boys, the one, the only Heath and Gary. I'm Heath. And I'm Gary. I'm also very tired, but that aside, I am about to take on the Mahogany Gym, the Ice Type Gym, and you may or may not have noticed for, for my team, but I have swapped out someone for Gyarados because after this gym, you will have access to Whirlpool in the Overworld. Whirlpool can be used oh. to go into Whirl Islands, which gives you a array of new encounters, mainly Horsey and Seedra. Horsey will have so. Dragon Dance at level 38, Seedra alert later on, but Horsey and Seedra are a fantastic water type to have because they evolve into Kingdra with a Dragon Scale, which is a water dragon Pokemon that, if you want to use, will be a great asset to your team. So, for context, you guys... Until Gen 6, where they add fairy types, Water Dragon has one weakness, and that's Dragon. Dragon is a typing that is not very common either. The Dragon types up to this point are Dragonite and Kingdra. <laughs> that's it. Yep. So, unless someone has a Dragonite or a Kingdra of their own, evolutions they're not dealing or they're not doing consistent super effective damage against you not at all which make and because kingdra's stats are pretty balanced skewing towards being tankier than damage you are not dealing damage to this thing not at anyways all. quick team recap mushu the very spicy shiny gyarados Adamant Nature, oddly enough, which is probably the best thing I could have gotten on him. With the moves, Fight, Dragon Rage, Leer, Twister. Phoenix, which I did begrudgingly spell wrong. The Jolly, Zatu, with the moves Fly, Confuse, Ray, Shadow Ball, and Tailwind. Joey, the Careful, Raticate, with the moves Crunch, Soccer Punch, Quick Attack, Headbutt. Kirby, the level 32 Impish, uh, Heracross. With Brick Break, Leer, Shadow Claw, and Aerial. As for my team, it's still the same for the most part. I have Gumblar the Vulpix. I have Zeroboros the Feraligator. Revolver the Nidoking. Boral Code the Magnemite. And my Pigeon Kyrados are just here for HMs. Okay, so here's my issue with this puzzle. is I know it's a color thing, but for those of you who don't know, like I'm... <laughs> I'm sort of colorblind, so like... Kind of, sort of hard to see colors from. But he'll manage. It's like, it's like, I can see colors, it's just the ones like the like that middle one and the one on the left that are like very close, or not, well, they're not very close for you guys, but they're kind of close to color in me, hard to see. Also, Gary, if this recording cuts, because or if my internet cuts because of the rain, we'll just have to re-record at a different time. But hopefully, we don't have to do that. Yes, guys, it is raining pretty hard for me right now. So, just gonna hope that, you know, everything's smooth sailing from here. Even though it might not be. Gary, you can still hear me though, correct? Of course. In fact, for viewers that are watching his, his re recordings... If it does end up glitching out, you can always watch mine, since we're recording at the exact same time. It, my channel will be linked in his description below. And I will probably, like, I have a playlist that I will be uploading these videos to. If I'm not able to get this one, instead of us restarting the recording, I'll just have to play along, you know, with Gary, like, on a Snapchat call or something like that. And then just i'll put his video in the playlist of mine it will not be my video obviously all credit goes to him hi <laughs> what no i just said yeah. hi <laughs> okay so this is a dugong this is the evolved form of s seal and something that gumblar cannot take so I'm going to send out Revolver. Revolver might be Poison Ground, meaning he's weak to water. But he should be able to take out Dugon with relative ease. Him being ground makes so he's also weak to ice. This is not a great gym for him to be in, actually. But he'll manage. Okay. 
He'll do just fine. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my chewing. Oh. I'm currently eating Doritos. I did not mean I to send out Zeroboros, but it should I be fine. A bag of nacho cheese and cool ranch. Question of the day. Question of the video. What is your favorite type of Dorito? For me, I like the spicy, the spicy, spicy sweet chili. Honestly, my favorite. Mine was this rare kind. It's like it's supposed to be the like red hot ones, but they don't sell them anymore. And like they always have these like knockoff versions that are not the same. They're in the Cool Ranch bag, but they just aren't the same. It's a special kind. It's like the okay, extreme so ones. The recording's still going, but that it just scared me because like. I heard a crack of thunder, right? And then, like, my AC went off for a second, and the RGB on my keyboard, mouse, and desk went off. So I thought my internet went out, or my power went out, or something like that. But obviously, it's still recording, and vid er, and I'm still able to be on Heart Gold. I keep forgetting I'm not playing Soul Silver. Yes, I am indeed playing Heart Gold. Soul Silver goes to me. So you guys who are new to Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or just Pokemon in general, it's your first time in this game with me. Technically, I've played Soul Silver, which is the counterpart to it. It's not my first time in this generation, but it is my first time playing this specific one. There aren't many differences, but there are version exclusives and whatnot. And instead of fighting Lugia, you have to fight Hoa. All of that aside, they're more or less the same game. As with most Pokemon games are nowadays. But that's a story for another day. As to why they release different versions every time. Although it can be explained like one simple exchange of words. Mainly for the fact that children need to interact. That is why there are two versions. I'll, I'll make it as simple as that. Oh, I did the puzzle. Nice. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. Gary. Yeah. Where are you exactly? I'm in Price's gym. At first, I it's, okay. So, you didn't say anything at first. And yeah. At first, like I thought, I my internet just. <laughs> it's all. The right. Recording is still somehow going. Yeah, because the recording <laughs> doesn't rely on internet to go off. OBS doesn't need any of that. Oh, really? Yeah. So my oh. recording will keep going through, except it'll just be. Des Desmium doesn't require any internet. Neither does OBS. The only thing that requires internet is VC. So you'll be all right. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing too complicated not like that. You could have just asked me this any, any time. I could have told you. Although I thought it was self-explanatory. It's all right though. Also, to be fair, fuck you. <laughs> you guys can't tell technology is not his forte. It is mine though. I'm more of a health science-esque type of After we beat this trainer, we'll be on the gym leader, and he will be a clean sweep. Although I will say, unlike how it may seem, I'm not clueless when it comes to technology. Just when it comes to spelling, occasionally. <laughs> oh yeah, I absolutely can't spell. I mean, Phoenix is a living example. P-H-O-E-N-I-X. <laughs> I definitely did not spell it like that. <laughs> Alright, on to the lesser Doritos, which is the nacho cheese. If you think nacho cheese is better, you're wrong. 
And this gym leader will be mine as soon as this trainer's done. Nah, price is already mine. I already beat. With all of the roadblocks more or less out of the way, I can finally take on price. So, for those of you who are unaware of exactly how bad the leveling is in Johto, we have I've beaten at the very least the seventh gym in the game, right? And I'm on it as and right now. Phoenix is level 34. Normally, in a playthrough, after you beat the third or fourth gym, your Pokemon would be level 34. At around the seventh, your Pokemon should be in the 50s, maybe even 60s. At the very least, if you are avoiding a lot of trainer battles, but you're winning every gym battle, you will be at the high 40s. Yep. Also, despite the ice type gym being, well, an ice type gym, most of the Pokemon here are weak to grass. So if you are using Meganium, you should have an easy time here. Reason being is because the ice type gym, and just ice types in general, nothing resists it. Like, they don't resist grass. Ice types only resist ice. Which meaning, is unfortunate because ice types could be better offenses than they are. Meaning that Pokemon like Dugong and Seal are weak to grass, and Pokemon like Piloswine are also weak to grass. Because Dugong and Seal are, wa are. Dugong's water ice, and Piloswine is ground ice. Both are weak to grass. Personally, I think that ice should resist grass and water, respectively, but. And here comes Piloswine. I'm going to swap in Gumblar, then swap him out, and you surf on the Piloswine because it is weak to water. How bad is my chewing, by the way? I don't think they can hear it. Well, that's it's worth noting that. The game's volume will take precedence over anything else we are doing, unless our mics are terribly bad. Nah, I had my mic away from my mouth. Even if it's like right next to your mouth, the game should be louder. General rule of thumb, at least. Price since in his last Pokemon, Dugong, which will be taken out with relative ease by Fur Alligator or Nidoking. I'm most likely just going to use Crunch on this thing, then next turn I'm going to heal Revolver, send him out, and have him poison jab this thing down. TM82 Sleep Talk. Meaning I don't mind if Zeroboros gets k k k KO'd here. Although looking at it now, he should be able to take it out himself. So, for those of you who don't know how Sleep Talk works, if your Pokemon is asleep, let's say they use Rest to do so, right? You can use Sleep Talk, and it will randomly use any one of your any one of your Pokemon's other moves. However, that does unfortunately include Rest. You're seeing this right now. Dugong used Sleep Talk, and it used Aurora Beam, which was a critical hit. I'm going to heal my revolver over here and send him out once the Zeroboros is KO'd by Sleep Talk. Amulet coin doubles money you get in battle. Very good item. Absurdly good item. That not only stops Zeroboros from stealing any EXP that could go to Gumblar. But now Revolver can KO. Now 
904 right, XP so goes through Gunblog. Like emulator's about to fail again. And just like that, we've beaten Price. Eleven and a half hours of content for you guys. We now get the and Glacial Adam's. Badge. We'll also get Hail. Alright, time to reset again. This is, what, the third time this series? It's so hard to believe that this game was made in 2010. Okay, we can now leave the gym. Since Whirlpool will work now, we can also just uh, go to Whirl Islands. First floor. And now Team Rocket has taken over the radio tower, so we can have we have to go uh, take care of them. Dang, so, are we just now hitting that? I, while I will be doing that, I will quickly go to World Islands beforehand, though. But I also have to take care of something else real quick, so give me a sec, viewers. While he's doing that, I'm going to fly to Mahogany Town. Yes, I'm aware that I can literally change Phoenix's name's spelling here in Goldenrod. I'm just not going to do that because it is literally just, uh, what's it called? Character. Okay, now we can go to Whirl Islands before that. Emulator we'll have to do a few things. Two times in a row. I am so sorry, guys. This is... Literally at zero fault of mine, though. Reset. So we're going to fly to Olivine oh, oh. City. Olivine will give us the good rod from a trainer who was inside the house near the Poké Center. It should be the one above it. If not, it's right next to it. Wait, am I forgetting something? Yep, here we go. The good rod. This will help us get horsey. Gary, what am I forgetting to do? Hmm? What do you mean? Save the old man from the basement. Have you tried going back to the radio towers? I did not do that. That's my bad. You need to beat Archie. Fair enough. I'm going to use a super repel. Repels will only stop, you know, wild Pokemon that you would get from steps. They will not stop a Pokemon that you would get from using a rod. So we don't have to worry about, you know, stopping anything. Although I should probably go back and get one of my Pokemon that has Flash, just to make the World Islands navigating a lot easier, because the World Islands is a dark cave, or a series of dark caves. Although, this emulator has a habit of not lighting up dark areas in the game, as you guys saw with Morty's Gym and Dark Cave, so it might just be pitch black darkness, regardless of whether or not I have Flash. So, actually, we're going to do something else. We're still going to get Horsey, obviously, but we're going to have Revolver out in front. That's one. At least until we get to Whirl Islands, get to a body of water. Inside the caves. Now we just have to surf all the way down until we reach the Whirl Islands. Or one of them, at least. Fight off a few trainers as well, since we forgot a few. Because of how strong Revolver is, though, these should be instant KOs. Bad, bad, bad. 
have the key, idiot. <laughs> Long. Intentacruel. Brick Break. One of the better fighting entire series. I'm not trying to battle that one trainer at the bottom, so I'm going to Whirlpool right through this, then Whirlpool okay. upwards to get inside Whirl Islands. Yes? Quick question. If yeah. no one comments on the videos asking for another generation, which one should we play next? Mm. Let's see. Gen 5. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Normal black and white. Yeah, no ru no more remake. We'll do the sequel afterwards. Proton. Now wait just one second. Aren't you the one that got in our way at Slowpoke Well? I see. Doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful. But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of a Team Rocket executive's wrath. As you guys saw from that... Royal Islands is pitch black. So we'll have to go through a different method of finding our way through. This is going to be mandatory since I'm playing so sober, but it's not too bad. If you're playing Heart Gold, however, Islands, instead you'll go to, I forget what it's called. It's like the Sky Tower or something like that. I doubt it's called exactly that. Okay. <laughs> Now, there are different sets in the Royal Islands, for example. The, the one that is closest to water is Island number s is Island C. Island C is the one on the bottom left. We're currently on Island B. So, to make this go a bit You're faster, confusing them, Gary. we're going You're to fly to Cienwood. Cienwood is the quickest way we can get to Island C. Which is the bottom left island, because Royal Island is, is a set of four islands. So, first things first. Surf from Cianwood. Make sure we have another repel. Seriously, you chase me this far? I'm not after you. Your blue hair, imagine. Even with how dark the cave is, we should still be able to get some body of water. Hmm. Yep, water. Sludge. And I... Wow, okay. I'm going to go ahead and say that crit mattered, even though it probably didn't. But, like, ow. Now, by using a good rod in the Royal Islands, we have a chance to find Magikarp, Horsey, and something else. But the main one we want is Horsey. Would it be a Krabby Batty? I believe it's something else, though. In fact, how about we check and go over them all? <clears> hmm. <throat> The Pokemon you'll find in Whirl Islands are Zubat, Gobat, Seal, Krabby, Tentacool, Tentacruel, Horsey, and if you're using a Super Rod, you'll find Seedra and Kingler. Those are the Pokemon of interest here. Although you have a higher chance of finding Horsey if you Surf, it is guaranteed to be at level 20 if you use a good rod. That's what we want. The highest level possible to reduce the amount of time this will take us. We can also find a Krabby from the good rod. 
we have a higher chance of finding that and Magikarp. Why does she think her chances of winning are higher this time? Because the... Hmm. Idea. All right, dear viewers, I'm going to cut to where we find a horsey, and I will be right back to you once we get that. I'm not going to cut. My video is going to be longer. Bop! <laughs> Quad resisted... I'm not that stupid, Ariana. Please don't get hit by... I'm okay with getting hit by a wing attack, honestly. I was actually worried about a air slash. Unfortunately, we are going to have to heal after this battle. And by heal, I mean go all the way back to the Bokapon Center. Ugh. I don't know why I was about to throw <laughs> the fucking Pokeball. Hyper Potion. Vile plume. I... Hey, what do you think you're doing? I think I'm winning! You think a move called Asic... You think a you would think a move called acid would have more than forty power. What, what? Why are you so strong? I, I, I'm not. Heracross is. And the Yoi gained 630 XP. Yeah, of course you still lost, because you're trash, Ariana. And this is the horsey that we wanted, viewers. So. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> so. The, like, five minutes of silence and me just saying, you suck, Ariana. Gary finally finds his horsey. As opposed to his pony. So we're going to try and weaken this ever so slightly. We don't want to take it out entirely, because that would be unfortunate, to say the least. Although, this thing is weak as hell, so we'll let's find another. Actually, oh my god, so struck. Slightly weaker explosion, keck. Gotta get on my Pokedex app, actually, because I need to know if... Natu actually learns a or Zatu actually learns a psychic type move. It learns Psycho Shift. 
37, Future Sight at 120. It does not learn a damaging psychic type move until level 59. God. Uh, bad psychic type. Oh boy, After a fair amount of trial and error, we find a decently leveled horsey, level 19. We'll be teaching this thing surf immediately once we catch it. But well, yeah, first, we'll be weakening Kingdra's it. Really good with surf. Uh, we won't be getting Kingdra. This thing's whole purpose is just get you a move onto Totodile. Why not use a Kingdra? Because I'm I using for alligator. No point in having two where's, water types. Where's the good rod again? Olivine. Thanks, bro. With Horsey Cut, that saves us a lot of time. Horsey the Dragon Pokemon. Will only be used for one thing. Let's use an escape rope. That'll save us the trouble of just going into a wall. I'm pretty sure we only needed cut that. Yes, that one time. That's all we needed it for. And we just outright probably don't need rock smash. And if we do, I could just teach it to something else. Okay, with our horsey caught, we can now handle the issues in the other areas. Or, we could just spam level this horsey now, but I'd rather do that off screen. So let's go to Goldenrod. I'm going to pull a Chad move and say completely just grew off to this... Useless psychic type that I have. Oh. Hold on. Naive Abra. Not bad. Not bad. I'm still going to have this with us just for a sec because I don't really need Whirlpool anymore. Ooh, actually, am I able to teach U-Turn to Heracross? Of course I'm not able to. I think that's kind now of funny, Now let's take actually. off the Joey charcoal. Can learn plug. Well, let's take off each feature and give charcoal to um, Gumblar now. Try and get one level up from the wild Pokemon here. Abra was given the EXP shared to hold, and it will evolve in one level. You said Olivine, correct? Olivine, yes, the house above the Poke Center has it. And now Vulpix wants to learn Flamethrower. Perfect move this early on. Also very convenient. Now we can go to the radio tower. Yes. 
So a trade which that means we'll have to go, go done over in this game. I know of one more after this one, and then the rest of them I actually don't know, but I'm not sure exactly where it is. I think it's up here. If you go into one of these houses, I will find the correct one for you guys. But and there's a full heal right here on this rock. But basically, one of the guys in this house, if you give him, I think it's a Krabby. Yeah, he'll give you a Voltorb. So, something to consider. Especially because the Krabbies around here are actually close to level 30. And, surprise, surprise, Voltorb evolves at level 30. So, that's something to keep in the back of your mind. Just in case. Also, in this game, it is perfectly fine to team build whenever... And I forgot to teach Surf to Gyarados. Now that we are dressed as Team Rocket, Grunt's Goldenrod is effectively locked down. We can't leave. So we have no choice but to go to the radio tower now. Now that we're dressed up as Team Rocket, so Grunt's... is Surf required to be able to get on to the Oral Islands? Yes. Surf right. and not, Whirlpool. Not Surf, I meant Whirlpool. Whirlpool, yes. Whirlpool is mandatory. All right, well, now I'm going to have to begrudgingly teach Whirlpool to Mushu. It's fine. We'll just get rid of Twister. <laughs> Take the Mystic Water from Mushu because he's not going to be a permanent member. We're going for a tankier water type. Look, guys, a tankier water type. <laughs> Jokes aside. Flamethrower burning is really good for us. Now we're going to heal Gumblar here. Then flamethrower one more time, and that should be it. Uh, I dislike water routes for this Pokemon right there. And Hyper Fang misses. Let's go for Quick Attack. Of course. Oh my god. This is why I hate water routes. You never get two seconds to just chill. Which is why I have repels. I forgot I had repels. I always bring them. If we're lucky, Abra will get a level up here. Now, the constant eradicates make this a bit difficult because of Sucker Punch, so I'm going to swap out. But this eradicate is one hit away from being taken out. Not mine. My eradicate is full HP. And this one is down. Enemy shelters down though. Yeah, I assume we weren't even close. Oh no, you're feeling dizzy. I don't care, you're swimming. Oh look, the actual tankier water type than Gyarados. Tentacruel is actually a really good option if you guys are looking for tanky water. It's That's also not really too bad offensively. Exactly. It learns poison and water moves, which are both really good specially. And not to mention, as for its tanky side, it has really high special defense just in general, and it learns the move barrier fairly early. So if that's a move that raises defense one or two stages, so that's a pretty good move to have, especially if you're trying to make it tanky. Not to mention, you can give it items like leftovers or black sludge, so it'll restore HP every turn. Flamethrower boosted by Stab and Charcoal should be just what we need to take out a majority of Team Rocket's Pokemon. Whirl Island. Yeah, as you guys can see, I cannot. Neither can you guys. 
just emulator things. Now, if I were a crazy person, I, what I would do is I would catch this Krabby, it, level it up to level 29, and then get a Vol or do that Voltorb trade, so I could have a Electrode. But since I'm not into bad dark or not bad dark types, since I'm not into bad electric types, I'm not gonna do that. The, the base choice. And no, guys, I'm not just feeling my way through here. I can see ever so slightly, but I can't tell what's water and what's not, though. So just bear with me. <laughs> like Gary did, caught a horsey. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. In fact, I'm actually going to probably catch a few. I don't care what level they are. I just want a Kingdra. As I've gone over, the only reason I have a horsey is to get Dragon Dance on my Toadile. You don't have to do the same thing, but it is really helpful having Dragon Dance on Fralligator. Not me struggling. Actually, if any of my Pokemon can learn Flash, I might just teach it. See if that helps any at all. It might not, but... Hopefully Abra or something can learn it. Abra can learn it. So can Phoenix. And since Phoenix is effectively useless to me, we'll get rid of Tailwind just because. And because of Screech, Vulpix can't okay. live a hit from well, Crunch. We were able to see for a little bit there. It did go dark again, but now I can at least see further around me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hell and find a body of water fish there. It is worth mentioning you have a higher chance of getting horsey if you just surf inside the water there. But you don't have to do that. Ah, found the water. There we go. It is simply a easier way of getting it. Quicker. But I do also have to wait for the repel to run off like that. And then our first encounter will be a tentacool. I know you guys probably hate not be. Don't worry, I do too. It won't be as bad for him because he can actually see in the place he has to go to, which is Bell Tower. But once I have to deal with Lugia, I have actually a way of getting around this. I know pretty much the straight path to Lugia. You have to go to a certain island, then it's just instant. Like a straight path. So it shouldn't take too long for me to get Lugia. If anything, I'll skip right to it. If you guys look closely at your screens, you should be able to see too. Just ever so slightly. Again, it's just emulator things. If possible, I I'll record a separate video of how to get to Lugia and World Islands, just to help the viewers out. I'm tempted to use the speed up button just so I can catch this horsey. Faster. Three Magikarps in a row. Not even a nibble. Ah, there we are, a female horse. Flip 
flamethrower will take out this Grimer. Then we all, we're on to the next Pokemon. I'm going to use a Dusk Ball because technically we are in a cave. That is true. Dusk Balls have a higher catch rate at night and in caves. Four times the catch rate of a normal Pokeball. The Dragon Pokemon, Water Type. If attacked by a larger enemy, it quickly swims to safety by adeptly controlling its well developed dorsal fin. We're going to name this thing. King, purely because I can't get a Garchomp. Now this guy is muck. I'm gonna stay in, but just for the EXP. Then I'm gonna swap to Revolver and Earth Power it. That horse he was holding, the Dragon Scale? A j Jolly Horsey. Not the worst it could have been, but obviously that sucks for its special attack. But I'm not mad about that, actually. And the Earth Power takes out Muck in an instant. I'll take it. Now, time to teach you Surf immediately. You are now my new Surf buddy. With the Poisoning Fade away, I can now heal Gumblar back to full just about. Not completely, but it'll be fine. Well, he'll back to full, actually. Ow. And then I'll use an ether to restore flamethrower. Mahogany Town, a town with a suspicious air to it. It's a hiding place for ninjas. Well, not anymore! These trainers are giving Vulpix just the XP it needs. Once it gets a certain amount, it'll be on par with Revolver, and it should be able to be by itself for the rest of the game until it's a Ninetales. Which will be soon. And by soon I mean at level 44, but this thing will get to that level quite fast. Time to deposit Mushu. I'll keep Zatu here for now. Purely because it has to lie. And actually, what I'm going to do. Oh, this is good. Go back to. We're getting the move Safeguard, which will keep us safe from any statuses. Which is something that I could use here, actually. In fact, I'll do just that. I'm going to use Safeguard now to make sure that we don't get poisoned from any other Pokemon that they might have that can poison us. And hopes fully, yep, we live. We're going to heal. Wow, a level 16 Poliwag. If I'm not mistaken, a rare candy. Yeah, we are going to immediately use that. I think that's under medicine. Yeah. I'm going to immediately use that on King, even though it's female. It should probably be named Queen, but whatever, nerd. Oh, didn't not mean to use that again. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. He went for s s s Soccer Punch. You can swap out to Revolver and let him to handle this. But Safeguard will stop the rest of our team from getting poisoned, just in case. 
which is what I'll be using as the first move going forward. Balbo, would you like to call me again, buddy? And expertly taken out. Probably shouldn't have deposited Gyarados because this is literally a boss, and now I only have three viable Pokemon to use. But, who asked a nerd? Uh, it's Archer, not Archie. Hmm? Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I know. Man, Fire Fang, that's about to be devastating. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But. grew to level 16. I know it's a terrible matchup for Phoenix, but shut up. My hands are cold. This last Magnemite should either get me to 28 or halfway there. Well, close, at least. Because we're more than half now. Yep, very close. Bye bye, Phoenix. This rocket grunt will have a wheezing. Wheezing is a fair bit tanky, so flamethrower, even with charcoal Great. and stab, probably won't be enough to to get rid of it. Fire Fang's about to be devastated. I actually need to land one more flamethrower. And Weezing is taken out. That was actually best case scenario. Kirby lived and got... I'm pretty sure that's the only reason we KO'd Houndoom. Houndoom's not especially tanky, but I mean, being five levels up, it could definitely have taken a hit. Let's see how Vulpix is feeling. Kirby's probably going to go down here, but... At least we can get off some good damage, which can help. That was a crit. Wow. Hip, 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 hip. Accidentally hit alt. Apparently that's the pause button. Scared me. So, first things first, safeguard because lots of poison types up ahead. You want to avoid getting status as much as possible, and he used glare, so safeguard stops that. Anticipating that is important. Safeguard works for the entire team, so I'm going to keep it on Gumblar. Because statuses mess with my team way more than I'd like to admit. 6,000 Poké Dollars. And Abra's evolving. Hopefully it learns confusion. Hopefully I did not miss that, because... That'd be very bad, and I'd be very upset. Get Psybeam soon, though, so it's not too bad. And we're evolved into Kadabra. Kadabra learned Disable. Yes, I did learn, or I did miss Confusion. There's always hidden power. At the top uh, of Lake of Rage. I just banded Team Rocket. It's fine. The Rainbow Wing.
Just a few more, and then we're done here. I don't care, Ralph. Running out of uses of flamethrower. We'll swap out so we can save that last use on whatever Pokemon he has left. I think I said it last episode, but I wasn't planning on doing any more team building, or at least not a lot. And then I do the exact opposite of that because I learned Phoenix was not going to be useful until pretty much after Pokemon League. <laughs> so... <laughs> my, my main team is inside of the PC. Well, most of it, at least. They'll come out once I've done the last bit of breeding on Toadile. Actually, if I'm just able to buy Psychic, then... Should be able to. Uh, where's the person that tells me where everything... I'll just go up the floor by. I might need something. Bye. I have almost 60,000 Poké Dollars, and I still have Nuggets I can sell. That is the power of the Amulet Coin. Going to put Flamethrower back at the PP necessary. One more. Don't want the lagging tail. Nuggets sell two for another 10,000. Uh, how are we going to, how am I going to get King Drift? Trade, I, I have a way. Oh yeah, isn't it using like cheap codes? One. Because it, it's a trade evolution, we'll have to do that. Under normal circumstances, viewers, me and him would be right next to each other, IRL. And well, we would trade like that. COVID. I mean, that's not the reason, but <laughs> shut up. COVID. Please be TMs. I do need these, though. I'll save money. It's not something I normally do in a Pokemon game. I usually spend everything all at once, every time I can. Uh... Fade all attacks. Chance of... Okay, that's protect. This will be a consistent back and forth of Recover and Flamethrower. Okay, so that's Thunder. Hyper Beam. Blizzard. Focus Blast. Uh, Solar Beam. Let's make this go by just a bit Combat. faster. False Swipe. Light Screen. Reflect. And what's the move called? Oh, a crit charge beam. No matter, we'll just get rid of it next turn. Are there better TMs on this floor? Because this thing has made itself an electric type, Earth Power will KO it. TM65, Nest Ball, or a Berry? Nah, I'm good. There aren't any better TMs than literally Focus Blast. Close combat, or wait, no, it might not have been close combat. That might have been super. Lowers the foe's special defense stat if it hits. Okay, that's focus blast. Oh no, this one's fire blast. What am I thinking? <laughs> One Thunder TM, please. One Focus Blast TM, please. I might not get to use it, but one Fire Blast. 
And a Blizzard TM because... And Coffee needs to self destruct, taking both Pokemon with it. Iron Tail, I'm pretty sure Joey can do this. Yes, as can Kadabra, but I'm not about to teach him that. Alright, this one should be proteins and everything. Vitamin. Yeah, I need, like, all of your calcium, dude. Like, literally all of it. Bad. I could unfortunately only get four calcium. He'll take out a uh, magnemite here. I'm going to use calciums on... But I'll be sending Voltix back. ...to make up for its jolly nature. Then I'll swap to Revolver. Kadabra's gonna have high special attack no matter what I do. Even if I literally effort value train it in only attack, and even if it has zero IVs in special attack, even if I don't give it any like stat boosting vitamins or special attacking health or anything like that, we'll still have a lot of special attack. So, that being said, There we go. For the rest of this fight, I'll mainly be using Revolver because I don't want to risk the constant self-destruct spam. Believe it or not, boys and girls, I might actually do the one thing I said I wouldn't do in this playthrough. Grind. <laughs> We have I that covered. To, we'll be grinding a lot off screen, so it'll nah. be fine. At least I'll be grinding off screen. Chief, I might be able to beat the game in this episode. I'd rather not, like, you know, cloud the, the viewers with a bunch of uh, constant grinding. So I'll handle that all off screen. Revolver gets level 45. Actually, you know what? Shadow Claw has been putting in work this entire fight. And it pays off. Emulator glitch. I think this is a fine place to, you know, stop for me. Before I go any further, I'll be doing some off screen grinding. And I will also be handling some IRL business. With that said, uh, viewers, sorry for like the glitched out trainers, <laughs> but that'll be it for my side of this episode. I'll be splitting it into a two parter. I, however, will continue the grind. If you want to see where this left off, you're free to watch Heat's video. It's a lot longer. But anyway, I'll cut things here. I will see you all next time.